Hi, Jay. Hi, Sylvia. Nice to see you. Koyama, welcome to the show. Nice to see you too, Eric. Howdy, Shane. Howdy, Mark. How are you? <laughs> and supposedly more likes attract viewers. So let's all see if we can't put up a bunch of likes today. Howdy, Pro. Oh, that's good news, Mark. Howdy, Dylan. How's your evening going? Well, Ethan, I, uh, I, get, I found out that a crow attacked my zucchini row and ate all the zucchini seeds right out of the ground. And so I replanted it, and I got a soaker hose on it, and I'm soaking it with water in hopes that it will wash the smell out so the stupid crow won't come back and eat the rest of my seed. Not even close, Wild. It's, it won't be finished for another month. Hi, Ashley. Welcome to the show. Hi, John. Iceland? Well, I, hey, John... Have you guys, uh, I haven't seen the news lately. Have you got any volcanoes going off over there? Or are you all settled down for a while? Not even close, Jude. Uh, well, Joe. Jod, Jodu, Jodu, Joe, J O, Joe. Hi, Dan. Nice to see you. I'm feeling pretty good, Louisiana. How are you doing? Well, Joe, who is that? Oh, that's good, pro. The beach sounds like fun. Howdy, Riker. I remember you. You're number one. No, that's good, John. Them things can make a mess. Yes, Alex, I did. Yeah, we're supposed to get rain tonight, but I am trying to get the garden ahead of time. So, your auto clicker's going? <laughs> well, thank you very much. And welcome to the phone show, everyone. I build paper toys from recycled paper out of my kitchen. And uh, this is one of the amazing things that I've built. They're hollow, have a superstructure inside. Ah, TikTok says they're notifying viewers that I'm live. That's very cool. Thank you, TikTok. Well, I don't know what to tell you, Ed. Eh, it's my life, you know. And uh, just so you know, Ed, it's worse than you think. I have TikTok on this phone, and I have YouTube on that phone. So um, I'm getting twice the mileage uh, for my uh, social media time. Well, AJ, I would like to, but they're too expensive. Ah, uh, thanks, user. It does. It lasts a long time. Good morning, Blake. You must be down in Australia or somewhere. <laughs> I know, my garden looks pretty good, Riker. I gotta have better pictures of it soon. Yep. And John, uh, Honey Bunny uh, got me the uh, a primer that I need for the tractor. So I'm going to go ahead and prime it tonight. And hopefully it'll be ready to put some really good paint on it tomorrow. Thank you, John, very much. Uh, yeah, Gold, Ed, this is all made out of paper. Recycled paper out of my kitchen. Jeez, Blake, it is morning. It's like one. 
<laughs> okay. Yeah, I see. <laughs> that that used to be a drink when I was a kid. Howdy, Seal. Welcome to the show. I know, Riker. It's really cool detail in this. Hey, Riker, have you had a chance to take screenshots of it and blow them up yet? Hi, gaming. Nice to see you. Hi, Ragu. Hi, you. Nice to see you. Hi, Red Rosie. Welcome to the show. Well, Louisiana, maybe one of these days a museum uh, will contact me. Uh, yeah, Luke, the Dagwood was done like six hours ago. This took 536 hours to build. I am Marissa. Thank you. And what's up, VR? How you doing? I hope you're well. Uh, yes, I built this out of recycled paper out of my kitchen. <laughs> That's good. Because uh, if you screenshot it and then blow it up, you see all kinds of really cool stuff. Thanks, Sam. Hi, Joanne. Hi, Kaden. Welcome to the show. Uh, well, Mo, uh, managing depression is finding something that in, you enjoy doing and doing that instead of being depressed. Because depression is it's tough. Uh, I deal with it all the time. You know, I'm not where I want to be. Um, I don't have the extra money that I so I can help people, and that's depressing. But other than that, you, you have to just work past it. Otherwise, you'd leave the world, and that's all there is to it. Well, John, wow, John, that would be really cool. Thank you, John. I know, and I don't like throwing paint. It sucks. Thank you, Matthew, very much. Yeah, Parker. And it doesn't stop there. I started building this one my first piece, January 2010. Made out of a mac and cheese box. And I like onion as well. <laughs> and so anyway, yeah. <clears throat> I've been building ever since and I haven't stopped. Uh, Riker, the little wrench means they're moderators. They can kick trolls out of the show. Will Landra, right, uh, will Landra White please stand up? Hi, Peeler. Uh, well, Softball, you have to learn from my tutorials on YouTube. And once you start practicing this hobby... And working on it and then coming to the show and talking to me about different things you're stuck on. Uh, then I can help you with uh, stuff and you get better at it. It just takes dedication to do it. <clears throat> uh, Lions, Sun and Moon and Stars, and the number one. Oh, geez. I forgot to wash my hands after working in the garden. My hands are filthy. Oh, no. <laughs> Oops. It does, Louisiana. Very much so. All right, Luke. Take care. Well, uh, Turkey, I have you guys here on TikTok. And on the other phone over there, I got people over on YouTube. I have two channels. And I talk to people from all over the world on both channels. Some people said it's impossible to do. Eh, it is tough at times. Oh, thank you, Lisa. 
So you actually, and look at this and this. I built this out of a cracker box. All right. And <laughs> uh, softball. Yep. Talk to honey bunny. And so anyway, I got a picture of an A-10, a bunch of them. And I blew up one picture on my laptop to 10 inches. And then I took all my rest of my measurements off of that. It kind of looks real, doesn't it? <laughs> and the wheels spin, the burp gun spins, and the turbines also spin on this. Uh, plastic bearings that I made. Uh, no, uh, Julius, J-U-L-I-U-S, Julius. I did not hear about school shooting in Finland. That's spooky. Finland don't have any guns. <clears throat> Thank you, Rat. I know, Dylan, right? Uh, well, ga games, yeah, I'd sell this. But it's, it's really expensive. I mean, like buying a new car, expensive. But I'll never make another one. It's the only one in the world made out of paper by me, out of a cracker box. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, I know. Bird gun with wings. And if you, uh, if you hear the sound, you're safe. If you don't hear the sound, whoop. <laughs> I know, Dennis. Yep. Uh, the Jasper, the, the Dagwood was really good. Oh, really? I, I didn't know you guys had guns. I thought you were a gunless country. I guess not. Huh. Well, thanks for the information about that. Uh, Riker, yeah, talk to Honey Bunny. My wife. Uh... <clears throat> people, uh, I mean, honey bunny, there's a whole bunch of people over on, uh, well, two, uh, on YouTube asking about moderator positions. Wow. Well, you got a new trampoline out of the deal. Well, Mr. Uh, Clean, I have no idea. I really don't know anything about weapons, actually. I know that if you hold one end, the other end goes bang. Thank you, Pine. My wife thinks so, too. Yeah, if you hear that minigun, you better hope they don't know you're there. Oh, really, Julius? I didn't know that. I learned a lot today. <clears throat> oh, thank you very much, Riker. I like him too. Well, Links, I'm uh, I'm working on right now. I'm building paper toys uh, from recycled paper out of my kitchen. This is going to be a snow speeder. <laughs> yeah, I know Janice. <laughs> yeah. Hi, dog. How you doing? Riker, you're over here. You still over there, Riker? Are you on, are you on both, Riker? Um, I really, I don't hate animals. I think they're all cool. They all serve a purpose. Howdy, Ace. Welcome back, King. Nope, I do not have a store. You're on YouTube. Well, I got a Riker over here, too. I got two Rikers. One on YouTube and one on TikTok. Oh, that's cool, Riker. <laughs> really cool, Riker. I know, Riker, right? <laughs> he says, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. Yak, that's awesome news. Uh, 
Ethereum? I don't know. I'm lost. Uh, no, Ace, I have no idea. I don't do any of that stuff. Um, I, I'm too busy answering both chats. I just see every once in a while I notice somebody gets blocked or kicked out. And so I don't know why. I, I don't ask. it. I leave that up to the moderators who handle all that. And uh, so I don't know why. Oh, that's cool, Kayama. Uh, Koyama. Sorry about screwing up your name, Kate. <laughs> Koyama. Uh, my dyslexia sometimes gives me a hard time with it. Fruitcakes, door to door. Come on, Matthew. That's got to be the hardest job in the world. Uh, the awards... Uh, B U H. Boo. Ba. Ba. Um, I went to three county fairs in the state of Washington and I, uh, with my paper art, and I won every ribbon from all three fairs. And uh, I swept the field of ribbons. Hi, doggy. How do you do? Well, Koyama, did I get it right <laughs> when I got it right? Uh, Alan, you missed Dagwood time by five and a half hours. Next one will be Thursday. Hi, Remote. I'm doing very well. Thank you very much. Hi, Magic Man. Welcome back. Uh, oh, no, we lost the connection. Oh, no. Well, yeah, Riker, because you can coat it with stuff that will make it waterproof. And so, yeah, you can make a boat out of paper and have it coated with a proper uh, whatever uh, to make it waterproof. Sure. Well, Magic Man, everything is, seems to be going really, really well. Uh, well, Callie... I built paper toys uh, from recycled paper out of my kitchen. I'll show you a piece right here that's kind of cool. Um, see that? Uh, that's it right there. All right, recycled paper. Now, you want to know what you can do? You can build micro machines, little stuff like this. Uh, and you can build book stuff too. Boy, I didn't say that right. But here is a Star Destroyer. Over 11,390 pieces. Kingwood, West Virginia. Welcome to my phone show, Michael. Thank you, Magic Man. Hey, Magic Man, did you ever have a chance to go to my uh, YouTube station? I, I know Ring, right? <laughs> uh, it's called the Paper Engineer. <laughs> oh, thank you, Callie. Uh, hey, Callie, if you screenshot it and then blow up the screenshots, uh, Mark told me about that. He's a super fan. Anyway, uh, you can see all kinds of detail that you absolutely won't believe. Hi, Jedi Don. Thank you very much. Yeah, Ring. Ringside cam. That sounds like a, a ring doorbell, but it's not. <laughs> Thank you, Ring. Oh, Eric, this is this is a house. This is the whole. It costs a whole house to buy this. Yes, I make them from scratch. <laughs> I know, kind of cool. Eleven thousand three hundred ninety pieces. You know, that's over sixty thousand cuts of paper. Um, uh, I go to Walmart, Sam. Why would I work at Walmart? My God, that's like, no. <laughs> yeah, Omar, made it out of paper. I'll show you something really cool. I use recycled paper out of my kitchen 
to make toys. They're actually art. <laughs> Paper art. But, yeah. Well, Callie, after you spend uh, five or six years building the little ones, then you can start making a big one. Or you can start with a big one and try to figure it out. But that big one took me 536 hours. Absolutely remote. Oh, that's cool, Omar. Awesome news. Do you use Elmer's glue or PVA? This is what I use. It works really, really well. And here we go. One Viking ship. And thank you, David. Well, Magic Man, I didn't say there was anything wrong with it. It's just not for me. Well, the tractor is not doing anything. I had to wait for some paint. Hi, Dexpor. Welcome to the show. I know, Tripper. Absolutely understand that one. Nah. Well, one, I'm 70. Yeah, and actually, there's no extra ores on this. I just haven't got all the ores put in because um, uh, there's ore locks in all these, so they'll stay there. And I'll show you. See, they, they go in just like this. There we go. Let's put one in here. And it goes in the ore lock at an angle and then straightens out. And there it is. Hi, Ace. Absolutely, uh, Julian. Hi, Pookie. Well, the thing is, it's just dedication. If you start doing this and you really like what you're doing, if you're, if you're building stuff you like to build or building things that you love, then it makes it a lot easier to stay dedicated to the job. Uh, you was just, what, really? Okay, ace pilot. Well, thank you, Koyama. Very much. Have a great night. Hi, TJ. <laughs> thank you, remote. Hi, baked potato. Nice to see you. Yeah, Ace. Two different sites. There's YouTube Live and there's TikTok Live. My weekend pookie was extremely busy. I got the uh, garden almost completely done. Matter of fact, I got it done today. Uh, at, at lunch, after lunch, show was over. I went out and worked in the garden for almost two hours. Uh, yeah, it's a Viking ship, uh, TJ. Oh, thank you, Trip, for the gummy bears. And thank you all very much for your support. It It is amazing. Every rose you send me helps me out with my rent. I'm doing pretty good, Emil. How are you? Well, I'm sure that the Vikings... Built them so that they wouldn't have to be carried anywhere. They floated. Thank you, Remote, for the friendship necklace. Oh, Honey Bunny jumped over to uh, YouTube. Hi, Kobe. 
Thank you, Kobe, very much. Yes, it's a Viking ship made out of paper. Nope, it's too hot. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Rod. No, I used to. Um, Ring, when I uh, first got into this for the first 10 years of building, that's all I built was Star Wars stuff. But now, I build all kinds of other things. Hi, Jack. Welcome back. Thank you, Nun. Uh, no, remote, I will not. Um, uh, Scuzzy? Uh, uh, Scoozy. Scoozy. Uh, the biggest piece I made is the Star Destroyer. That's this one right here. This is the biggest one I got. It's, uh, 32 inches long. Uh, yeah, the roll, <laughs> of course they do, beef. Um, 32 inches long, over 11,390 pieces. It's hollow, has a superstructure inside, and uh, took over 66,000 cuts to make this, and 536 hours build time. Hi, Peyton. Uh, I'm doing good. How about you? Uh, thank you, Scoozy. Uh, yeah, Beef. It has. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Peyton. Is it okay if I call you Peyton? P-8-O-N. It sounds like Peyton to me. Hi, Star. Nice to see you again. Well, Callie, uh, I was playing a Star Wars game in the Grey Bar Motel. And the guys, uh, I started on a Monday... And uh, then on Wednesday, uh, the guys left Coruscant, and uh, basically, uh, they had a piece of paper about that big. Oop. <laughs> Oop. A piece of paper about that big. And uh, they were pushing it on the star chart. Really, Peyton? I got it right? Aha! <laughs> Well, Beef, if you win the lottery, um, you can get one. Then you'll have it. Um, Finn, uh, the Star Destroyer took 536 hours. Thank you, Mark. And so anyway, um, uh, they were pushing around the star chart, a little piece of paper. And I said, what is that? Because I was new to the game. I didn't know what it was. It, they said, it's our Millennium Falcon. I went, oh, cool. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm playing a role-playing game. All right, I'm playing a boffin. That was not a falcon. That's a piece of paper. So that weekend, uh, the Monday to Friday and the Saturdays and Sundays, I went up to my cell and I had a box of mac and cheese. I had some Elmer's glue and acrylic paint. And I built this falcon January 2010. And everything else grew from this. Thank you, Layla, very much. Hi, plushie. Welcome to the show. I'm a Jedi, Gibo. Yeah, a Jedi. You, Gibo, Gibo planet, Gibo, Gibo. Hmm, Gibo. What's a Gibo? Huh. Thank you, Werewolf. And so, from this, I built everything else. Started building, never stopped. Yeah, Mason, I can show you the Star Destroyer. Um, uh, Jesse, I started January 2010. So, you count January to now, I'm in my 15th year of building. So, matter of fact, in all my life, I never stayed with a job more than five or eight years because I'd get so good at it that I just got bored and I would go do something else. And so this, for as far as a job goes, 
is absolutely amazing. I've never been doing something for 15 years straight. Thank you, Mac. Oh, that's Mark. That's M-A-R-C, Mark. Thank you, Mark. Yes, Jay Gulia, Jay Gulia. Eh, it's paper. I know, Ron. It is L. Ron Hubbard. Oh my goodness sakes, L. Ron, you have some fantastic books. What I'm building today, uh, I'm actually working on um, uh, snow speeders uh, today. These ones. They're also um, a paid build. And so anyway, that's what I'm doing right now. And I really, I really, I really, 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 really think I need... Oh, yeah. Probably these. Clothes pins work really good. They're not so, they're not so strong. Uh, metal, metal tends to, to dent the paper. Well, these paper clothes pins or these wood clothes pins are not so heavy. And so it's easy to manipulate stuff. Notland's out. Take care, Notland. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> yes, man, it's a snow speeder. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, Norse, they are. And these will be the guns uh, for it. They're plastic Q-tips, so they don't break off. Oh, yeah, Isaac, you have to come early in the morning to catch the sandwich build. Uh, no, train guy, I've not made any trains. Absolutely, Brandon. Welcome to the family. We are the paper army, and we're paper engineers by trade. Thank you, Derek, very much. <clears throat> Hi, Eleven. Nice to see you. Yeah, yes, man, the Google snow speeder. They come from uh, the world called Hoth. That's where Luke got hit by a, a taunt, uh, was on a tauntaun and a wampa attacked him. Well, Mark, I, I understand you're on TikTok now. I can tell right here. And so, yeah. Uh, yeah, Pooh. I was uh, locked up and I had broken my leg. So I used leg bones and barbed wire represents being locked up. And uh, this was thrush mufflers when I was a kid. I had them on my uh, my Chrysler. And over here, Harley Davidson, my favorite motorcycle. And so that's what that was all about. Nope. Don't plan on making any planets either. Yeah, Empire Strikes Back. Absolutely. Hi, Pat. Nice to see you. What? Somebody's leaving? Oh, yeah, Derek had to go. Pednev, welcome to the show, Pednev. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Did you really, Mark? <laughs> That's funny. Hi, Rocco. Jackson? Hi, Jackson. Nice to see you, young man. Hope you're doing well. How's school treating Jackson? Well, Tazer, uh, Taser, not Tazer, Taser, welcome to my show. I do, but it's all parts bike. I haven't got the money to be able to buy all the parts to build it. I've got a frame and a bunch of stuff downstairs, but I don't have the money to finish it. So it's a parts bike. Project for the day, Mason, is a snow speeder I've been working on. Oh, that's great news, Rocco. 
Uh, vain dogs? I don't know. Probably think they're prissy. You know, they live in a purse. That's probably a vain dog. Yeah, snow speeder, Mason. From Hoth. That's awesome news. You go, Jackson. Uh, Mason, I'm not working on the tractor right now. I had to get paint for it. <laughs> well, uh, Manda, I tried to do the best I can with my dyslexia to get things right. <laughs> yeah, uh, Pat, cold as H. <laughs> Although that may not be a right uh, aphorism or euphemism or something. Hi, Sniper. Nice to see you again. Welcome back. Uh, yeah, I just got done showing the Viking ship. Here it is again. Oh, wow, Manda. Yeah, no kidding. Wait a minute. Jack. <laughs> yeah, it, it, I guess, Jack, uh, the dyslexia gave me ability to see and build things. I understand. I totally understand. Uh, yeah, daughter can do that to you. Uh, the ship took me like 160 hours. I was diagnosed early, and I've been working with it for years. It never goes away. Dyslexia, this does not leave you. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, Plushie. Oh, really, Derek? <laughs> I haven't been hiding it. It's just that some days uh, people that have seen it uh, before ask about it, and then I bring it out. And so, yeah, I made this back in uh, like 19, uh, 2016. Uh, Riker, it's a learning disability, dyslexia is, where your brain reads so fast, it reads letters that aren't even in words. Uh, eights and threes are the same thing to me. All right. And so it, it's, it's very difficult to overcome and you never overcome it. You just get better at it. Uh, yeah, plushie. It takes a long time to do this stuff. All right. Um, this was an easy build. It, this was only 94 hours. Very easy build. 94 hours. <laughs> and and uh, <laughs> Beef Tank said the same thing. He'd never seen the Viking ship either till today. Thank you, Joanne, very much. From Manchester, uh, UK. They got a football team, Manchester United. Yeah, only 94 hours to do this one. And uh, this one right here, uh, this one was 115. Uh, that's because it's harder to build the turbines on this. They're both Battlestar Galactica, though. Oh, I know, Amanda. Talk on it. What? Hey, Jack. Let me know if you want to start building something. I'll help you out, Jack. I really will. Because I think you can overcome a lot of stuff learning how to build this paper. Because you have a kind of mind and I think it'll work good because I know I'm in the boat you are uh thank you t-b-o-n-e-z t-b-o-n-e-z t-bone t-bones t 
T-B-O-N-Z, T-bones. You're a steak, my friend. Uh, no, I do not, well, eh, not normally. I don't carve. Yeah, Jack. Uh, yes, yes, Sniper, I'm, I'm American. Yes, uh, Washington State, USA, out on the Pacific Rim. Well, T-Bone, it only took me how long to figure it out? A month? That's all right, aviation. No worries. Yeah, I had I had 9,000 people in the show this morning. Have I ever made a Millennium Falcon? Well, I got, this was the very first thing I made January of 2010. And after I made that one, I made like four more. And uh, I got, there's a Millennium Falcon on the back of this. You can see it right there. All right, that's, that makes this Darth Vader's Devastator. And uh, then I went ahead and I built this Falcon uh, in 2016, 2,000 pieces of paper. And so, yep, I did. That's all right, Sniper. Not a problem. I don't think America's really that good anymore. It's a mess. Oh, yeah, Mark. Oh, that's fantastic. Mark, do you know my uh, YouTube site, uh, The Paper Engineer? Check it out. And then start learning how to do some of this stuff, and I'll help you. Um, I just it's just stiff plastic. That that's all I use for glass is stiff plastic. Welcome back, Mark. Thank you, Cook. Thank you, Arnis. Uh, what was I doing as a teen? I worked for my mom and dad's company. Uh, played football in high school. You know, that kind of stuff. But basically, I worked. I didn't have a social life or anything. I never went out. I always had stuff to do. Oh, that's cool, aviation. Oh, that's cool, Mark. Awesome news. Uh, this took... Uh, 365 hours. Okay, it took me, uh, if you break that down, oh, thank you for the rose, Manda. One hour a night for one year. Sponger Bob? <laughs> uh, yeah, absolutely, Beef Tank. And here it is. This is the biggest one. The Star Destroyer. And thank you guys for sharing me with others. And putting up all the likes you got. I know a couple of you got auto clickers. And that really helps out a lot. Leonid, you have time. It only takes one hour a night or maybe five hours on a weekend. And just work at it. Uh, thank you, Mac. Uh, Godzilla versus Kong. Uh, the new one? No, I haven't seen it. Thank you, SOS. Very much. Thank you, basketball. Hi, Stacy. Really cheap hobby. All my paper is free. I've uh, only had to buy paper one time in 15 years. Elmer's glue, a dollar and a quarter at the dollar store. Oh, uh, well, uh, Mac, it doesn't take patience. Uh, none. You don't have to have patience at all. Just takes the dedication to do it every week. That's all. No patience, dedication. Well, uh, crazy coot. I've only been on for, you know, like two hours today. I'm just now my third hour. I had to do a bunch of gardening and stuff. Who wins, the Flash or the Hulk? Uh, well, Harry, it's the Hulk. 
The Flash can't hit the Hulk hard enough to do any damage. None. And eventually, the Flash's hands would hurt so bad, he couldn't hit him anymore. Well, the thing is, Beef Tank, here's the deal with ADHD, all right? You start working on something. I started working on these two months ago. I'm just now working on them again. Okay? Uh, I'm busy working on them, so I'm not doing th that. this. The cool thing is, you could start building on these. Get tired of them. Just make sure you put them in a little box or somewhere where they're all together, all your parts. And then start building something else. All right, work on that for a while. Hey, get tired of that. Go to work on something else. Because eventually, you'll want to finish these. And then you'll start working on these again. I know, Beef Tank, right? Uh, I have never made a guitar, Robert. Oh, you're talking about that guy. I, I don't know. I haven't seen SJ in a while. It's been a couple days anyway. And so I don't know if he built the guitar or even started it. Uh, yes, Pat. It's a John Deere tractor. And um, I needed to get some paint for it because I painted this four times and it kept getting ruined. I'd paint it and it'd crinkle the paint. And I'm like, what in the world is going on? Doggone it. And so anyway... Yeah, um, I had to get some uh, primer uh, to put on this and try to do it again. Yes, beef tank, exactly. All right, it's like this. I've been working on this piece literally for three years. Okay. Oh, thank you, Troop. Thank you, cowboy. Awesome sauce. Uh, yeah, Robert, it is. But for the last three days, it's been stuck. And so um, I haven't been able to work on it <laughs> because I didn't have the primer. <clears throat> Thank you, Trip. Thank you, Robert, for the roses. You guys, every, every little tiny rose helps me out a lot because my rent uh, is due tomorrow. It's $400, and you guys are helping me to make my rent, and I appreciate that so much. From the bottom of my heart, I love you all for all the help you've done. I will, Mike. Absolutely will. Hi, Evan. You haven't been here in a long time. How are you doing? Hi, Gracie. No, Tanya, I don't do that horse garbage. Uh, well, Top, I've got Venmo and Cash App. If you would like to help me donate, that's where you can do it. And thank you very much for your support. <laughs> Absolutely, Ghost Rider. No, yes, I do. I've been doing really well. I hope you're well also. Hi, River. Nice to see you. Welcome back, Brandon. Uh, no, Trip, it is not. Um, it is um, Rust-Oleum. It's made for John Deere paint. Well, it's made for uh, Rust-Oleum paint, which is what I had to get to get the primer, I mean, to get the John Deere colors right. Hi, Devin. I'm doing really good. I hope you're well also. Uh, yes, Sammy. Uh, S A M I S. Oh, Sam. Sammy, not. <laughs> Let's see, Brandon. Well, Brandon, the whole deal is uh, I'm not allowed guests here because it's not my place. 
This is my brother-in-law's place. So the only way that you're going to meet me in person is if you come to a toy show or something that I'm doing. Uh, thank you very much. And that's Kev Kevy. I'm doing very well, you guys. Oh, uh, wait, what? Oh, thank you very much for the heart me's. What, Devin? What? Uh, there, the elasticity of paper? Well, it depends on how you build it. Oh, uh, thank you guys very much for your support. Oh, my goodness sakes. Thank you. Thank you, Amanda. Very much. I should say Jack. Doggone it. It's going to be tough for me to break my habit, Jack. Uh, beef tank. I think I've got like 30 Star Wars things. Good night, Stefan. Oh, thank you, Pro. That's awesome news. Well, Brandon, it depends. Where do you live? And I tell you what, Brandon, you have to talk to Honey Bunny. Honey Bunny, if you would go talk to Brandon, wants to meet me. And um, I don't know how that uh, basically works. And so, yeah, you can give Honey Bunny a shout out to find out. Uh, yes, they are. <laughs> Uh, yeah, T-Bones. Uh, not really RC wheels. All right, there was... I got a, I got a toy truck uh, that was a, a small, you know, for a youngster uh, RC car that had these wheels on it. And it didn't work, you know. It, I got it for three bucks at a garage sale. But I knew that these tires were worth more than a dollar each. <laughs> and so someday I wanted to build a paper monster truck. Well, I know I can't build monster truck tires for it because it's really hard to do. And so anyway, that's how I ended up with monster truck wheels. Uh, yes, Robert, I do. I went to three county fairs in the state of Washington with my paper art. I won every ribbon at all three fairs. I now have 20 ribbons. Uh, from three different fairs. Oh, well, Devin, I didn't understand that. <laughs> so, thanks very much. Well, awesome, Patrick. Are you building any paper toys right now? Thank you, T-Bones. <laughs> Darn it. And I wrote that down, Manda. Shoot. Jack is Manda's son. Doggone it. And I wrote that down, too. Uh, sorry, Amanda. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, man. Keeping everything straight sometimes, Amanda, is really tough. Well, I, I tell you what, Trip. <laughs> I got 15 years experience on you. Uh, yes, Amanda. Doggone it. And I wrote it down. Manda's son, Jack. Oh, that's all right. I'm I'm straightened out now, Manda. Can I say your name? Wait a minute. Who is that? Why you don't you didn't give me a name, so I'm not gonna say it because you don't have a name.
Well, Brandon, I don't know how to fix that. <laughs> Sorry, Brandon. We'll get it right. River Bell. Absolutely, River. Welcome to the show again. Well, Ernie, <laughs> those won't work. Uh, yes. Yeah, remote. I do. Uh, always. Anything that has uh, flying abilities or so. Yeah. I build stands for them all. So, yeah. Well, well Manda, I'll try not to. <laughs> I really will. I think I'll get it straight from now on. Oh, trip. That's cool. Well, the tractor has been on hold. Uh, it's, it's, I'm not doing anything because I couldn't get the paint to stick right. What's leaning over the ribbons? Um, oh yeah, that's my, uh, that's my sign I take to shows. It says the paper engineer. It is solid. All right. You can't squeeze it with your fingers and break it because it has superstructure inside it. Hi, Jank. Nice to see you. Thank you, Alex. Dragonfly? Absolutely, I can show you the dragonfly. Thank you, Logan, for following me. Ethan? Hi, Ethan. Hello, Button. Nice to see you. I didn't use... Well, I used acrylic paint on the body. But the wings? The wings are iris petals. <laughs> okay, Amanda. Is it dinner time where you're at right now? Because I don't want you to be late. <laughs> Where'd this come from? It came from right over there. Uh, you see, I have this uh, I have this Walking Dead baseball bat, Lucille, and the dragonfly always sits on Lucille. Oh, it's cool, Smokey. Okay, uh, does stuff. Well, I tell you what, if you do stuff, right here on my YouTube channel, I've got tutorials on how to make paper toys. And uh, you, can make, you can make anything you want once you learn how to do it. And uh, that includes Battlestar Galactica or Star Wars or uh, like the Viking ship I got. It doesn't matter what it is. Once you learn how to do this, you can make amazing toys out of recycled paper. Elmer's glue and acrylic paint. Cheapest hobby in the world. <laughs> but you can't, Brandon. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Smokey, I would be amazed. Thank you, Ethan. And here's the biggest thing, all right? The amazing thing is you can build stuff like this Star Destroyer. It's all recycled paper. This whole thing cost me like two bucks to make. Oh, hi, Kitty Cat. What are you, oh, you're out of food? Is that is that it? You're out of food? You want me to put some more in there? I bet you do. Yeah. And it don't matter. You can make all kinds of stuff, too. Whatever you want. Yeah. What the heck? It's running out. Okay. Yeah, I know. No worries. You can sit down and eat. Relax. And so, anyway, it doesn't matter what it is. It has superstructure inside. And once they're built, they're super strong. Somebody says, what do you mean? It's made out of paper. How can it be strong? Well, um, this is made out of a cracker box. 
Lots of people watch me build this. They're paper with a superstructure like this inside it. Because of that, these things are super strong. Yes, I do, Beef Tank. Okay, I had to reconnect. Don't know what's going on with YouTube. Oh, thank you, Piano. Honey Bunny loves it, too. <laughs> I know, Beef Tank. No, it is. I know. It really is. And here's the thing. All right, it doesn't matter, you guys. It's made out of paper. If you manage to break it, you just glue it back together. That's the coolest thing about this hobby. You, Uh-oh. Okay, let's see here. Let's get that over there right like that. Aha! Jeez, TikTok was giving me fits too. Uh, the A-10 took me a uh, little over 200 hours. Uh, to build the A-10. And it was a uh, two-thirds of a cracker box to make it. Uh, it does. <laughs> Thank you, Beef Tank. B-R-A-I Braid? Hi, Braid. Welcome to my phone show. Nice to meet you. Oh, that's fantastic, Robert. I'm glad to hear that. It looks like a ball, but it's a Death Star. Thank you, Brandon. Uh, there is no square footage to my house because I don't live in a house. I have a fifth wheel. I rent this office. And so, and thank you all for your support and <laughs> helping me pay my rent. <laughs> Well, actually, uh, no. It would take about 45 minutes for this to burn up. Maybe an hour. Because of the way it's built. Oh, that's all right, Braid. No worries. Hi, Participatarian. <laughs> Welcome back. Nice to see you again. No. No, Beef Tank. It's, it's like this. It's hollow. All paper. Oh, that would be fantastic, Trip. Oh, that would be so awesome. I want my students to do better than me. I really do. So I don't put lights in anything because I don't know how. And Shannon, I'm sorry. I don't have any birds. The only thing I have that's any kind of critter-like is my dragonfly. This is the only thing that is not some kind of a spaceship or tank or something. And sorry about not answering that sooner, uh, Shannon. Oh, Brandon, making woods easy. You just plant a tree. Alan Rojas, I can say it now. I just noticed your comment, Alan. I'm on two different streams, so sometimes I miss comments, you guys. Uh, thank you, Shannon. It's made with iris petals. Uh, yes, Beef Tank. Absolutely. No? Everything. All right? If Because if you make, like, my Star Destroyer... If you had to make that solid out of paper, it'd weigh 50 pounds. And I don't I don't do that. It takes too much paper to do that. So everything I build is all like this. It's got ho it's they're hollow inside. Everything. That's what I teach you how I teach you to do it. Uh the United States Marine Corps wants to see the tank. Absolutely. Which tank? Well, this is kind of a tank. Not quite, but I mean, yeah, okay, that's not a tank. Uh, this is. <laughs> uh huh.
One, Abrams. Oh, well, Braid, I, I would like to, but they're, I won't change my prices. And so they're too expensive. Uh, the tank took me 166 hours to build this tank. Absolutely, Ethan. Welcome to the family. Welcome to the Paper Army family. Nice to meet you, grandkid. And then, of course, I have the Pepsi tank. All right. Very cool. Best tracks ever. Made paper wheels for this. This is a tutorial build in YouTube. Shows you how to build a superstructure in things. This is a very good thing to teach you how to build big stuff. It's called the Concept Tank. It's tutorials in YouTube. Shows you how to do this. Thank you, Rocky. Thank you, Hunter, for following me. Um, Bray, the next Dagwood will be uh, 11.30 Pacific Standard Time <clears throat> uh, to Thursday. Uh, this one is over 300 hours right now. And so there, uh, some of them take extremely long time. Hi, Pothead. Welcome back. Oh, excellent. <laughs> hey, uh, Pothead, you got anybody work want me to give them a shout out? Uh, yes, Beef Tank, because the uh, chat bots over here on TikTok sometimes like to kick me out for saying a competing station. That's why I call it YouTube. Thank you, Rocky. <clears throat> Welcome back, Peeler. Sebastian? Absolutely. Is Sebastian there with you? Hi, Zeno. Nice to see you. Oh, that's cool. Well, Sebastian... Welcome to my phone show. Hi, Tanner. <laughs> I'm doing good. I see that, pothead. <clears throat> I suppose, Beef Tank. Eh, it happens a lot. Uh, your buddy wants... What, what's your buddy's name? This Star Destroyer is over 11,300 pieces. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Mad Martin? <laughs> Mad Martin? That sounds like a critter. Well, T-Bone, I don't need insurance on any of it because I can't afford it. He makes music? Oh, that's cool. Of course not. Moldy bread? I've been playing with this thing for five years. Never dropped it yet. Maybe eight years now. I don't know. Long time. Oh, yeah, Rocky. I have. <clears throat> I have. I got a couple of them. Um, oh, get that out of the way. Oh, come on, you. Uh, I have the X-Men's SR-71 Blackbird. Uh, Lenny, I started this hobby in January of 2010. Ah, <clears throat> oh, that's good, pothead. <laughs> that's awesome news. <clears throat> and then I have this jet right here. The A-10. Warthog. Oh, thank you for the roses. All right, Amanda. Take care. Have a good night. I'll be back tomorrow, same time. Uh, well, T-Bone, um, I was uh, bored silly, and I saw some Star Wars players, uh, RPG, and uh, they had a piece of paper for a uh, Falcon. All right, just a, just a square piece of paper. Uh, no, uh, Colin, I haven't seen Reed for a long time, about a month. <clears throat> and so anyway, I, I played the Star Wars game with him. 
And they said this was their Millennium Falcon. Uh, absolutely, Trip. And so I went up to my cell that weekend and I built this out of a mac and cheese box, some acrylic paint and Elmer's glue. Yes, Brandon, it is a big ship. It's 32 inches long. Well, I don't know, racing. What are you talking about? Alan Rojas was timed out. Oh, I liked Alan. Oh, well. This was my first one, Ethan, right here. Uh, no, Ethan. A Star Destroyer, even one this small, like this, is 100 hours. That's $5,000. You want me to build him a toy for his birthday that costs $5,000? You aren't going to do that. Uh, yes. Yeah, Rocky, I have one. I had to learn how to make a ball so I can make tie, tie fighter cockpits. Uh, yes, it does, T-Bone. <laughs> it does, yeah, it do. And so anyway. Uh, well, Beef Tank, there's no difference. One just takes more dedication than the other. Oh, Sino. Nice to see you over here on TikTok. Hi, Reed. Now, wait a minute. Somebody just said your name, and now you're here? Uh-huh. Sounds like you got two accounts, Reed. <laughs> Hi, Dots. How are you doing? Oh, it's all right, WB. Life gets in the way. Absolutely. <laughs> and yeah, that Todd got it. I get so confused. Sidhu, uh, 20. Hi, Doomslayer. It's been going good. How's your day? He sent you a snail mail? <laughs> I tell you what, that was the fastest snail I ever seen. Colin is a buddy of yours. <laughs> oh, that's cool, Reed. Do you guys play Fortnite together or are you guys doing a different game? Oh, yeah. Yeah, fasting because of Ramadan. I understand. Uh, Elsa, I'm 70. I uh, used to game, uh, but not anymore. And I don't have a game system now or a TV. And so I haven't played any games for like 10 years. Or 20. <laughs> Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six. Oh, that's cool, Reed. Awesome news. I've heard that's a good game. Hi, Brother Stubbs. Nice to see you again. Yes, it's also paper. <laughs> well, Dots, that's cool. I hope you can go to my YouTube channel and learn how to do this. Uh, yeah, Jeremy, which Falcon would you like to see? Oh, that's good, Ethan. Uh, the snow speeders? Oh, that's good, Brandon. Balls are hard to make out of paper. The big one? Uh -huh. Right here it is. The big falcon. Okay, Dots. 
I get it. That's cool. Start small, you guys. Learn how to build with paper. Once you start getting it, you can start doing superstructures. Then you can get this. Yes, Trip, they are. Well, brother, brother Stubbs, the tractor, I had to wait until I got some uh, paint that would make it work. I, uh, I painted it four times and had to tear the paint off because it was bubbling up and crinkling and it was terrible. But other than that, get off of there. Oh, wonderful news. More ores fell off. I got to put them back. Okay. So, this is where it's at right now. But I now have the right kind of paint to make this work. And so, I'm going to have to start working on the tractor again tomorrow. That's it. Uh, thank you, Dots. Absolutely. Yep, so that's where I'm at right now on that. Okay, why are those coming out of there? Daggone it, they're not supposed to come off of there. You're supposed to go back in here and stay put. Uh-huh, and that one's being stubborn too. Okay, dokey, there we go. Hi, Master Link. Nice to see you again. Uh, absolutely. If I've got advice I can give you, Master Link, I will do it. Thank you, Dots. <laughs> Very much. Hi, Gummy. And now, are you a gummy bear or gummy worm or gummy fish? What kind of gummy are you? It does? Well, I tell you what. How's Alice doing? Toothless? Hi, Toothless. I haven't seen you in a while. I hope you're well. Hi, Akif. Nice to see you. Nope, this is the only boat I got, Kilroy. Uh, Kilroy. Uh, Kilroy was here. A gummy bear? Oh, that's fantastic news. Welcome to my phone show. Uh, the sail's just a piece of paper. Uh, just two pieces glued together and shaped. And that's how I did the sail. Hi, right, Tanner. Nice to see you. Thank you, Dylan. Oh, thank you for the cowboy hat, partner. Yeah. Oh, Aaron, thank you for the cowboy hat. Oh, that's fantastic, you guys. Thank you very much. Uh, Brian, it was absolutely really good. I have no idea, Rap Raptor Cola. I have no idea what you're saying, Raptor. You have to figure it out. Uh, well, thank you, Destiny. I'm 70. Oh, thank you for the uh, the uh, crane. I think that's a crane. Yeah. Thank you, Aaron, very much. Uh, this was like uh, um, 115 or 20 hours, I think. Well, Kilroy, after I'm done with the tractor, I have to do DeLoreans from Back to the Future. And that's what these are going to be. And so when the tractor's done, then I'm doing DeLoreans. All right, Brandon. Uh, yeah, enjoy. I've been good, doing good, Tanner. I hope you're well also. Oh, thank you, Ethan. Oh, this is a fantastic ship. How did I do the curves on it? I had to use a French curve to cut 
the boards like this out of paper because they'll they'll fold around this way just fine but they won't go two directions when you try to bend them oh betu betu i'm 70 i don't care yeah i don't care i'm 70 thank you kilroy yeah trip absolutely 20 hours you're getting there Well, uh, Psycho, if I knew what you were talking about, I don't. Snow Trooper, hello, how you doing? You bet, Purple Panda. Aw, thank you. Thank you very much. And everybody, if you can go to TikTok and help Purple Panda and get up to a 1,000 followers, that would be fantastic. <laughs> I know, Destiny, right? Thank you, Raptor. <laughs> well, Destiny, I am very young for 70. Well, Kilroy, um, these are a bit too tiny. You won't be able to see the capacitors in them. You bet, Panda. <laughs> yeah, Eric watched me pick up rocks this weekend and built a rock wall. He helped me. He's not too bad either. He's a pretty strong kid. Uh, no, Gus, I don't woodwork. It does, Ratty, very much. Uh, yes, Peeler, everything I make is hollow on the inside. Everything. It's because you need to build a superstructure to give it strength. Oh, that's cool, Ethan. You'll make it. Oh, yeah, I remember when I was had 48 subs. You just keep building. Keep making more, uh, more content, and the people will come. It was, Eric. Thank you very much. <laughs> and so, uh, Joe was impressed too. He really thought it was cool. He says, that rock wall looks fantastic. Hi, Jackson. Nice to see you. Yeah, Eric and I built rock wall this weekend. And then, and that was on Saturday. And then Sunday, I worked in the garden all day. Oh, uh, thank you, Dot. Um, I got another cool one. Let me see. What can I show you guys? Um, how about the uh, sand crawler? The Jawas lived in these. Okay, this is another tracked vehicle. Yeah. I do. I know, Eric. He really is. The same crow issues? Yeah, I know. I tell you what, if I had a pellet gun I could put salt in, <laughs> I'd fix that crow. Uh, thank you, Dot. Uh, the engines were hard to build on paper. Let me tell you. Uh, well, the layers on the ship are usually a structural layer and then the armor over top of that, then the details on top of the armor. Uh, no, uh, Beitu, I'm not uh, technically an engineer. I've not been trained in it, but I've been building since I was five years old. And because I've been building things since I was five years old and I had very smart people around me like millwrights and engineers and aircraft people, I learned a lot about engineering just by working with them all my life. And so uh, that's it. I've learned my engineering craft because of things people have taught me. I know, Dot, it really is. Thank you, Party, very much. Thank you, Star. 
I know, I know, Eric. I got to build a scarecrow. I really do. Honey Bunny's been telling me the same thing. Uh, the oldest thing I've got, the first creation of mine, was this little tiny uh, Millennium Falcon. <clears throat> and I made this in January of 2010. And been playing with it for 15 years. Ooh, ah, I got another one. You guys are going to love to see this one. Uh, Jay Wolf, I have tutorials over on YouTube, the paper engineer. Once you start, and hey, Jay Wolf, talk with Trip. Trip's been learning how to build, and he can give you ideas on what he's been doing. He started with the Moya. That's a very difficult organic shape to do. Thank you, Burger Man. Uh, thank you, football. Uh, not much, Brandon. I was just showing people the uh, sand crawler. But I got another one I got to show you guys. You're going to love this one. There's a, there's a movie uh, out. Very underrated movie. It was very, very good. A lot of people didn't see it. It was called Passengers. And... Uh, that movie was super cool. There was basically only three actors in it. All right. The movie was Passengers. Now, the cool thing about it is that um, this ship is called the Avalon. The Avalon was what they lived on. Now, the thing about this Avalon is it was uh, the drive system of the Avalon um, <clears throat> was ion, I, it's ion engine. Now, the thing about an ion engine is uh, you figure you've got 100 light years to go. For 50 light years, you're going this way. But the last 50, you have to turn the ship around and fly it backwards. Because the ions have to slowly change the speed of the ship from going almost light speed to slowing down to nothing. Uh, yes, yeah, Star. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes, it is from Passengers, the movie. <laughs> Sorry, Will. Uh, it's easier if you just go to the store. Uh, yeah, dot, it is. Uh, dots, yes. I only have one Star Trek ship. I'm really sad that I don't have more. I have the NCC-1701. The original Enterprise. I know. I tell you what, it took me a long time to figure out how to make the wings right. Are the curves on this? <laughs> how to do the... Wow. Tell you what, <laughs> it was, wow. Very weird. Very tough. <laughs> but anyway, eh, because I was in the Gray Bar Motel, I had no computers or nothing. I had to build this from sight. <laughs> Thank you, Andy. You're welcome. Uh, yeah, I did. <laughs> Trip saw me break it, too. Uh, yeah, uh, this fell off the shelf and broke. Uh, this piece, up the center piece here, it broke. I had to fix it. <laughs> but it's made out of paper, you guys. Easy to fix. Well, the thing is, Dots, it doesn't take patience. There's no patience involved with this. It's just dedication. In other words, if you work at it an hour a day, in, in no time at all, well, you can make amazing things. Uh, this is one of the amazing things you can make at one hour a day. And that is the dedication to doing my craft. And so, that's the cool thing about this stuff. And uh, this one took me 177 hours. All right, so less than one year at an hour a night, you can make 
an amazing um, sci-fi model or a real one. I, I wanted to make a cigar boat because I love cigar boat racing. Uh, I have not had a chance to do it yet. And so, that's the fantastic thing about paper, you guys. You can make anything once you learn this. It's like Trip making the Moya from Farscape. I wanted to build the Moya. I have not had time to do it. Trip's doing it. Oh, hi, Dot. Yeah, this is the first thing I ever made out of paper right here. This Millennium Falcon. I don't know, Wolf. But I tell you what, uh, Passengers the Movie was a fantastic, good movie. They only made one error in it that I noticed. And uh, that was when uh, Jennifer, I think her name was, I don't know. Anyway, the gal that played in, in it with, um, uh, anyway, uh, the gal that was playing in the movie, uh, they had her trapped in a bubble of water when they lost gravity. She was trapped in a swimming pool and it turned into a big bubble of water. And she was supposedly drowning. Well, you, the thing is, uh, water has mass. It doesn't matter if you're in zero gravity. You can still swim through it because it's heavier than you are. And so they goofed that up. And uh, that made me a little disappointed. But other than that, the movie was fantastic. Uh, yeah, Scott, absolutely. I know, Dots. Ab <laughs> I know, right? And so anyway, first thing I made back in January of 2010. Thank you, Scott. <laughs> well, Dots, I was. <laughs> and so anyway, uh... But that's okay. That was really a small error. And most people in the world won't notice that. Jennifer Lawrence. Yep, that's it. Yep, that was the actress. Jennifer Lawrence and Chris Pratt. There was actually four actors and actresses in it. And um, one of them didn't survive long. Now, I just put Elmer's glue in between uh, these sections. And now what I do is I'm just rubbing it in like that. And then we squeeze it shut. And I put a clothespin on it. Because the clothespin won't crush the paper. But it will hold it long enough for it to set. Oh, that's cool, Trip. Awesome sauce. <clears throat> oh, Jenny, the sandwich was fantastic. It was a two-meal deal. I still have the other half for dinner. <clears throat> yeah, Lawrence Fishbourne. He didn't survive. You're right. He did not. What was the bartender's name? I've seen that guy in a bunch of stuff, and I don't know who he is. Uh, uh, Dark Vader. This list of names are, are fans of mine all over the world. And um, um, I, I have information that I use that they've given me. And so when somebody comes on the show... <clears throat> it's like Rocco. Okay, Rocco comes on the show. His son's name is Jackson. And I didn't I didn't know it, couldn't remember it, so I wrote it down. And that way, that's what's on here. Or different names. It's like uh, Amanda's son, his name is Jack. All right, a cat. Uh, all right, cat used to be Jim. 
Uh, his name is Trevor. Uh, they're all people that I've known for a long period of time. And they give me information so that I can remember it when I'm talking on my show. <clears throat> Aurora? Yeah. It's a van, nightmare, Newell, land, RTSDMI, Biggie, Heck, Rocco, Monster Truck, Jim, Ahmed, A, uh, Tosh Neil, which is uh, Coach Neil in French. <clears throat> Yeah, and like Daniel Andre, he's from Norway. He keep when he comes in, he asks me, "Where am I from?" And he's from Norway. Uh, he could be dot. I don't remember. The Matrix. Wait a minute. What happened here? Thank you, Scott. Oh, geez, Benny, uh, B-E-N, Benry. You need to get some sleep, Benry. Oh, my goodness sakes. Have a good night, please. Good evening, Big Nate. Nice to see you. Ogdenburg? I don't even know if I said that right. Oh, Aurora, that is awesome news. I'm glad. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we have glitches at times. Uh, three best movies? Oh, no. <laughs> well, Dots, because of my dyslexia, it's very hard for me to remember movies. Yes, Lawrence Fishburne did play in The Matrix. Absolutely. Uh, well... Uh, J-R-T. <clears throat> oh, thank you, Aaron, for the finger heart. I have two streams going at the same time. I have YouTube on that phone and TikTok on this phone. I was saying something to a troll over on YouTube, and the chat bots didn't like what I said, and they thought I was being hateful. And so they kicked me out for four days. Hi, Pimus. Nice to see you. Calabria in Italy? Oh, that's cool. Well, Pimus, I'm really happy. That's so cool. Hi, Goofy. Well, him, <laughs> the chat bots don't know I'm on two shows at the same time. Thank you, uh, GRT. Thank you for the number three glitter badge, too. <laughs> I know, right? Hi, Ichabot. The Dagwood sandwich was really good. I have a second half. It was a two-meal deal. I know, Trip. It isn't. Yes, Aaron, the band was silly. And I want to thank you all for your help. Every little bit you send me really helps out. Uh, it's amazing. Every rose, everyone that puts money on Cash App and Venmo, thank you all. I appreciate the donations. Uh, you need a new build, user? Uh, make the Hindenburg. Yeah, make make the Hindenburg. Oh, wait a minute. Sandwich? A new sandwich build. <laughs> oh, uh, hey, user, how about getting a real name? 5055, don't cut it. I'm sorry, Zach. I don't know how that happened. I 
I live at my brother-in-law. Uh, it's because the only place I could go when I got out of prison. And so that's, they let me stay here. And I've been here ever since. I have a little fifth wheel that I live in. It's not very big, but it's big enough for me. Uh, yes, Aaron, they do. Uh, Oldensburg. Where exactly is Oldensburg at? Brandon says good night. Good night, Brandon. Take care. Sleep well. <laughs> Thank you, Trip. I uh, know aviation. I can't. I need you to make it. All right, Brandon, take care. Sleep well. Oh, that's okay. Nothing. Nothing. Not them. Not them. Oh, I can't talk about that, Steezy. You have to go to Now Chat Podcast, episode 28. I can't talk about it. I get banned on TikTok for talking about it. And so, yeah, I can't, I can't, but you can, uh, you can look it up. It's on YouTube, Now Chat Podcast, episode 28. Oh, thank you, Big Nate, very much. I appreciate that. I did, I, tr well, I, yes, I did. So, and Big Nate, I did 20 years for it. Learned this fantastic hobby because of it. Hi, DM. Nice to see you. Oh, it's in Virginia. I'm out in Washington State. Wow, that's cool. Well, Pimus, I hope that you, uh, I hope that you have a good evening. I'm glad you had a chance to catch my show. It's almost over. Hi, Ashley. Welcome to the show. What? Why do you have to throw it away? Jax? Okay, Jax. That's easy. Well, the thing is, Big Nate, I'm different from other inmates. And I have not been treated poorly by society in general. Because I'm up front with everybody. If somebody asks me about it on the street, I tell them. I spent 20 years in the Gray Bar Motel. And um, I'm not ever going back. And if you want to see what I do, I hand them a business card that shows my QR codes for TikTok and YouTube. And so, it's something that I work very hard to help that stigma go away. Good night, Ethan. Wait a minute. Is Ethan leaving? Hi, Hampton. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Trip, very much. Hi, Rilo. How are you doing? Welcome to my phone show. Hi, Aurora. Uh, right now, driver, I'm working on... Uh, Building snow speeders. Uh, 
I'm trying, Big Nate. I'm trying to change the world uh, with the power of the spoken word because it is important and it carries more weight than people understand. Uh, Austin, you have to go to Now Chat Podcast, episode 28. I can't talk about it. TikTok bans me for it. Thank you for the corn trip. <laughs> well, thank you, Aurora, very much. And here's the thing. My list of fans is over 100,000 long. And I try to remember them all. And when they come to the show regularly, I remember them regularly. Thank you, Dark Vader. Yes, quick. It's on YouTube. It's now chat podcast. And I'm number 28 is the episode. Talks about my gray bar experience and why I was there. Yeah, Trip. I missed 20 years. <laughs> I'm trying to catch up too. All right, Aaron, good night, sleep well. Yeah, Relo, I got all kinds of awards. I went to three county fairs and I won every award at all three fairs. Uh, my lives, Sky, uh, are Monday through Friday, uh, Monday through Friday, two a day for two hours. Uh, this live is almost over. I've got uh, 12 minutes left. I do not have the Nostromo. I need you to build it. That's a very cool build. And I've wanted to build it. And I never got a chance. All right, Big Nate. Good night. Sleep well. You bet, Big Nate. Have a good night. Take care as well. Thank you, Tyler. My goodness sakes, it's late for you. Well, that's all right, Peeler. If you're working with paper like I do, reshaping stuff is nice on the second try or the third try. Well, Sky, best way to learn is right here on YouTube. I got all kinds of tutorials, and I do a live show Monday through Friday twice a day so that when people start building things, they can come in and talk to me about it and ask questions. Uh, Kevy Kev, I had to stop building the tractor because I couldn't get the paint to work. I'm going to fix that tomorrow. Uh, uh, Scott, gray bar means prison. Good night, Sky. All right, sounds good. 8.50 for you. Uh, you're Mountain Central Time or something, I think. <laughs> I gotta fix your paper pencil? No! You're supposed to use a mechanical pencil. You don't have to fix them. You just make more lead. Uh, yeah, Trip. I know. That's cool. Hi, e -E -L -A. Hi Elaine. Welcome back. You caught the end of the show. Yeah, Peeler. Yep. I'm in uh, Pacific uh, uh, Pacific Coast time. <laughs> well, I'm glad you didn't, Aurora. Mask. What? Maskas? Maskwakis? Alberta, Canada? Welcome, Daryl. Nice to see you. I'm out in Washington State. Hi, Ahmed. Ruhan. 
Nice to see you, Ruhan. Welcome to the show. You caught the end of it. I'm sorry. Uh, the ribbons, Elaine. I went to three county fairs. And uh, I won every ribbon at all three fairs. I wiped them out. I took every ribbon. I got 20 of them now. From Ohio? Oh, that's cool. Thank you, Rocky, for your sub. Jacket boy. Hi, Jacket. I'm doing very good. I hope you're well also. Well, Goofy, it's tough. Hey, you know, a lot of people point fingers and say, oh, quit being stupid, or you're a child, or they, they say all kinds of dumb stuff. Uh, me, personally, I've lived long enough that if they say something dumb to me, I don't care. <laughs> I know better. And so the words don't hurt me. Now, if they pick up a baseball bat or something, then I get worried. But words, they don't mean anything to me unless they're good words. Well, thank you, Zika. Oh, Zeke. Zeke. Well, thank you very much, Zeke. Absolutely, Finger. Absolutely. Thank you. Hi, little noble. Nice to see you. Well, for not being him, you're doing good. Oh, that's cool, Dark Vader. If you run into problems, talk to me. I'll help you through them. Hi, Amir. Nice to see you. Welcome to the show. Uh, thank you, Brooklyn. It is. And I know because I lived it. Yeah, it's making me reconnect, you guys. All right, quick. Have a good dinner. Oh, somebody got blocked. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, are you using cardstock for your chassis? Because you have to. It has to be strong enough to hold it. Otherwise, it turns to mush. And you have to put little structural pieces inside it so that it won't squish. Hi, what? How are you doing? Hi, someone. <laughs> nice to see you. Yeah. You can't use lightweight paper on the snow speeder. Your bodies and your chassis, your superstructures, all need to be cardstock. That's what gives it the strength. I have no idea... Eric, <laughs> a Dagwood is a very healthy, thick sandwich, and that's what a Dagwood is. Uh, no, it has nothing to do with the bread. You can use any kind of bread you want. It's just all the roughage and the mater and the onion and all the stuff that you put in it to make it a very healthy, thick sandwich. Sandwich. Uh, well, <laughs> Dark Vader, a uh, paper uh, pencil and a paper eraser. Very cool. I build paper toys, someone, out of recycled paper out of my kitchen. Thank you for the roses, Finger. Yes, logs. Absolutely. Oh, no. There's only four more minutes of the show, you guys, and then I got to go. Uh, Lily, my name is Michael, the paper engineer. <laughs> Your dog keeps barking. Is he inside or outside? If he's outside, he probably wants inside. If he's inside, there might be somebody outside. Dogs are good to have. Uh, no, I'm not gay, but I have gay friends all over the world. 
because I don't care what you are. I don't care where you are. I don't care who you are. Don't care what color you are. And I don't care what religion you are. We all live on the third rock from the sun. It makes us human beings. Oh, and you guys, it's okay if somebody asks me if I'm gay. <laughs> There's answers to all that. Uh, yes, Red. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, uh, the tractor, I had to, I had to wait on the tractor. I had to get some paint. <laughs> I do all over the world. It's fantastic. I also have trans friends, you know, and, uh, gay female friends. And it's just, it's amazing. I, I love everybody. I don't care what you are. Doesn't matter to me. <laughs> Dogs barking is your cat. <laughs> Cat's probably going, oh, shut up, dog. <laughs> I'm sorry, football. If you go to a shelter, you can get another one, and they will replace your heart. Two minutes. Okay, Brandon, there's only two minutes of the show left, you guys. Well, Dot, if we were standing side by side and something crazy happened, I step in the way of all kinds of stuff because I've learned a lot in my lifetime. And I would protect my friends with my life. I would protect my wife with my life. Same with family. And um, it's one of those kind of things that uh, I would stand up for downtrodden people all over the world. That's why I want us to become the human race instead of races. We need to stop fighting everything out. Absolutely. All right, you guys, it's the end of the show. I have got to go. I got garden work I got to do. I got all kinds of stuff I got to do. And so anyway... Because it is the end of the show, I tell everybody the same thing at the end. Because it's important that we need to do this. Speak. The power of the spoken word is absolutely insane. It's, it's more powerful than anything else in this world. People don't even know it. So, remember, doesn't matter what you are. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter who you are. Does not matter where. You are. Does not matter what color you are. Doesn't matter what religion you are. We all live on the third rock from the sun. That makes us human beings. We need to be better human beings. We need to start telling everybody. Start changing things. Stop fighting over it. Talk about it. It's more important to work things out. Because if you have to work them out with these... That don't work out. Let's start being better human beings to the rest of the world. Good night, everyone. I'll be back tomorrow at noon Pacific Standard Time. Take care. Have a good night, everybody.